Hi there, my name is Sayyad. Uh, in this video, we will discuss about uh, how SAP SD support project for a SAP SD consultant. Uh, how to solve tickets as a consultant? Uh, basically, this uh, this was a, this was a question uh, was put to me by Deepak, and uh, he asked me that uh, if you can put some real life uh, scenarios and how to solve the tickets as a consultant. So let's take a look at the before we jump into this uh, we need to understand it depends uh, every company have a different process so we cannot have just one generalized process that every company follow every industry might have some different set of standards uh, for example pharmaceutical might have some different regulations that they have to follow and uh, uh, some industries are more strict so they have to go through very rigorous uh, step-by-step -step process process of approvals um, and it's depending on the company's uh, testing system they are using automation are they doing manual testing or are they doing it uh, how they're doing testing on different environments that is depends on that a uh, policy and procedure again is uh, again with the company how the upper management decided to do or the stakeholders or, or uh, project managers are defining the policies and procedure and the company have their own policy and procedure management and directions so the, we take mani the, the management uh, they have any particular way of doing things uh, six sigma black belt a uh, different set of standards they might have uh, to do some uh, testing and uh, how to solve a problem and how to resolve an issue and and also it depends on the role and responsibility if you are uh, uh, working with a business analyst then what is your role as a consultant or if you there is no business analyst then you have more roles and responsibility and then you talk to several people how do you how do you uh, take on from there so first we need to categorize the issue when somebody raises an issue we need to find out if it is an end related is end user related issue if it is any configuration related uh, change request, if it is enhancement, if it is report, interface, conversion. So we have to categorize uh, in one of these areas uh, and then uh, we will we know that if it is we need to do uh, maybe train a user or if we need to do a ch change into the workflow. So, so we need to understand first of all what kind of issue is that we need to go from there and then categorize it. Then we need to have uh, <coughs> Uh, we need to have testing system where we log the issue or the user log the issue and then we, we get assigned to us so it could be a different team that assigned to assigned to you your team lead your project manager or the the test test management system that directing it to the different teams and uh, depend on that so uh, so if it is you're dealing with business analysts then this may be not a direct interaction if you div, if you are a consultant and you are also uh, fulfilling a role as a business analyst and you are interacting with business users um, then um, meetings there need to be a meetings so you could be a direct communication it could be a call it could be a meeting it depend on how do you uh, deal with that if user call you that i have this issue that is this is not working then you need to understand uh, then maybe you will have arrange a meeting or you give a call you maybe send them an email so uh, different ways of uh, setting up this uh, communication channel <coughs> where you will communicate with the end user and ask them about this issue uh, and, uh, and and maybe they could be weekly monthly bi-weekly they could be different or daily meetings for the issues uh, and then there is a business meeting that maybe business team get together and then ask IT to join the meeting as well so there could be a different way of uh, dealing with this so uh, and then it's depend on the environment depend on the test system and uh, depend on the approach and every company have but end of the day it is when you get a receiver ticket on your name how however it come to you then you take a ticket and then you analyze it and then you contact the person who, who who's uh, who's raising this issue and then talk to them uh, and then uh, analyze it from there that if it is um, if it is the end user issue if it is just uh, some uh, bad data entry they are putting in the system they are not putting right values um, and then depend on that so uh, based on that 
uh, that could be uh, deal with that uh, if it is a change request if it is an enhancement if it is a report related issue uh, after you define that then you can take on from there and then you uh, solve the issue so that's it for this video um, and I hope this uh, helped the uh, uh, help the understand this how to solve an issue so thank you very much please post a question comment and if you want to see a particular video let us know thank you very much